So you know somebody that's into woodworking, but you're not sure what to get them for a gift. I have at least five, that's more than five, at least five things that I can show you that are affordable that you can get one of your woodworking friends or family members. <laughs> You can never go wrong with a good pair of gloves. Uh, I, I tend to like the ones from Firm Grip. Um, I actually have two different sets. They're, just, they're pretty much the same. Um, in fact, they are the same, but one I use for woodworking and the other one I use for like metalworking and outdoor stuff. Um, sometimes I mix them up, you know, it happens, but um, these are really good. They're washable. I throw them in the washer quite often just to keep them clean. And uh, again, one of those inexpensive gifts that you can get one of your woodworking friends. All right, so every table saw uh, has an inherent danger of kickback. So one of the things that you can get um, for your, your table saw, other than a, a riving knife that generally comes with the table saw nowadays, is you can get a feathering board or a feather board. Um, and this one in particular is called the Hedgehog. Uh, it gets its name by the shape of it. Um, and it works really well. What's cool about this one is it's got an anti-kickback. So as, as you're pushing the board through, it just can't come back at you, uh, which I think is a super safe way of handling that. There's also ones out there called the Feather Pro. Um, this is another good one. And what's cool about this one is it's stackable. So if you have something really tall uh, or thick rather that you need to cut through, this is a good way of handling it. Um, both of these will work on your table saw, even your router table or your band bandsaw. So a really good option and um, yeah. All right, since we're talking about safety, another good thing that you can purchase uh, for relatively inexpensive is a dust mask. And this one in particular is from RZ Mask. It's actually very stylish and it's, uh, it has one point uh, that wraps around your head. And you look pretty good doing it too. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget about the Isotunes earbuds. You wanna talk about safety, these are probably your number one safety to have is to keep your ears protected. Um, these are OSHA compliant and they're Bluetooth compatible, so you can take phone calls, listen to music, and all that good stuff while in the shop. I use these all the time uh, in the shop, as well as at the gym, and even on the airplane. All right, so another thing that I actually use quite often, which is surprising, like this is one of those things that you just always grab. Um, when I'm traveling, or if I'm working on the RV, or if I need to go and take down a desk or something at a friend's house, I actually grab my little handheld drill. Uh, this one actually is from Rigid. Um, it's a 12 volt system, works really well. It's just got a little battery um, and it stays charged for a very, very long time. It's got a nice little light on the front. And what's cool about this one is you push on it, you push on it to go forward or reverse. So you always, um, so when you go up to a screw and you just push on it, it's gonna go ahead and do what it needs to do. And it's got an impact driving capabilities too. So it's really, you know, it's, it's not like super powerful, but it's actually really good for just taking down small shells and that kind of stuff. And I use this a lot. Now here's something I really just can't do without. I actually, when, I, when I'm doing anything CNC work related or anything that I need to make um, very accurate cuts with, I use a digital caliper. And I go, this is like a go-to for me. Um, I, I honestly, this is probably one of my most used tools because I'm constantly checking the thicknesses of woods, um, how far in I need to make something. Um, it's, it's, it's just super helpful, especially when you're getting into the CNC work. It's uh, really nice to, you know, be, a, be on the dot with this kind of stuff. Now this next one, uh, you can build yourself if you want to, but uh, I use these a lot as well. These are just you know simple squares that you can clamp to. Um, you can get these at Rockler or any other home goods store, but I use these a lot when I'm starting to square up things like the um, cornhole sets when I build those frames out and I wanna glue it up, I'll square the corners, at least two of the corners, and uh, let, it, let the glue set. So these come in super, super handy.
Now, if you really, really want to impress a, uh, a beginner or even a veteran uh, woodworker, um, you can get them a pocket hole jig. Uh, now, there's a couple of, them, couple of them on the market. This is a Craig jig. Um, this is the K4 system. They, they make various uh, different systems. Uh, I use this a lot, and I couldn't have done it without this, um, my teardrop trailer. I built the whole teardrop trailer uh, using this K4. So this, uh, this thing is, is one of those, another one of those go-tos when you need to make some simple joinery and you don't want to spend a lot of time on it. This is perfect for that. Now every woodworker would like to have a really good set of drill bits, uh, countersinking bits, uh, self-centering bits, and stuff like that. Now I really, really like Snappy Tools, and they actually make a nice kit that has all that in it. Uh, so you have your self-centering bits, your standard drill bits, your countersinking bits, and then you can actually make plugs as well. So after you go and countersink things, you can, you can make the plug with the same type of wood, plug it up, and you'll never even see that you have a faster in that particular piece of furniture. And this is a really cool way of keeping the kit all together. All right, so another kit that I think every wood shop should have is the 2P10 kit. This is just a set of, of uh, basically super glues in different thicknesses. So you got you know, your thick, your medium, your thin, and even gel. And then it comes with a, a small little spritzer um, that accelerates it. So if you're trying to throw something together really quickly, um, it's really cool just to be able to uh, put, put a couple dabs of glue, spray it down, and then move on with your project. Uh, and some people even use it as a temporary fastener. So you can put uh, two dabs of glue uh, of this on it and then put wood glue in between, and this will hold it together while your wood glue dries. This is, I, I use this probably too much. <laughs> Now, if you watch my channel a lot, you'll know that I'm a big, big fan of Atlas 46. In fact, I, I wear just about all their gear, their vests, their pants. Um, I have a, a shirt over there, their hats, everything. I just love their stuff. What I need to just jump out in the shop really quickly, I actually use the Adams pouch, pouch excuse me, the Adams pouch. And this is a really cool way of just having the essentials on, on your hip at all times. You know, I got my square, my pencils, my marker, my tape measure. Um, just a, a, a knife and my safety goggles on it. And what's cool is on the back, you can hook it up to your belt uh, or your belt hoops, or you can put it through the belt itself. Or if you actually get the, the pants that are provided with it, uh, or part of the kit, they hook up directly, which is really nice. I also hang my uh, dust collection remote right on this thing, so it's always on my hip. Um, this is a really cool way of just keeping yourself um, efficient in your shop. And actually, while we're talking about Atlas 46, another cool thing they make is these tool rolls. They make a couple different versions, different sizes. Um, this one in particular, I actually set up, oh, you hear that? <laughs> I actually got this one set up for all of my electrical stuff. So I got my electrical tape, all my different um, splicers and that kind of stuff all in there and wrenches and stuff. So, and my tester, my electrical tester. So when I need to go work on some electrical stuff, I just grab this bag and you know head on out which is a really cool way of just keeping everything organized i also have another one that i set up for uh, my off-roading truck so i have like a lot of my uh, bug out stuff um, some wrenches and stuff like that as well well there you have it guys uh, that's my list kind of a short list but um, it's a list of things that i think are kind of essentials um, to improve and uh, be efficient in your woodworking shop. And these are great gifts to pick up folk, for folks that, you know, you're just not sure what to get uh, for any years that's into woodworking. These are great starter gifts. These are actually good gifts for people that have been in the, uh, in the hobby for a long time. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, again, all, the, all these things that we talked about will be links down below in the description. So you can check them out yourself and check out the reviews. So thanks for watching folks and I will see you next time.